White Knight's coming. Goblin's in the corridor. Drop the spyglass. Drop it, I said. Wake up, Pickle! I said, wake up! <laughs> what? Oh, sorry, Master. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Terrible dream. We were guiding this quest, and I turned round, and in the chair instead of you, it was the opposition. Really? <gasps> Sometimes I wish I were the opposition. <clears throat> well, at least I'd be winning, idiot elf. Now, come on, get moving. The boys are waiting, and the watchers need updating. Sorry, Lord Fear. I mean, Master, only joking. Ian, Grant, and Richard are in the game, guiding Alex in level one. They're from Dr. Challoner's grammar school in Leafy Bucks. Nine minutes on the path, Master, carrying, let me see, a green arrow, a bar of gold, and delivering a mysterious book which Hordris put in the knapsack. Whew. At last. Well, let's go, boys. Came on. Okay, you seem to be in a forest clearing, and there's a wood stump to your left there's with some objects on it. Right, okay, okay um, take three side steps to your left. Can you see the stump? Yes, I can. Could you examine it, please? Yep, there's a pineapple and a magnifying glass on it. Well, put the pineapple in your knapsack. Mm, master, that's a spyglass. And I've got to say it, I don't think it's a good idea to use a spyglass on the opposition. He's got spies in the back of his head, if you know what I mean. No one knows what you mean, Pickle. It's because you're elvish, I suppose. Sometimes I don't even think you know what you mean. Don't let him worry you, team. There is a risk in using the spyglass. The longer you look through it, the more likely it is the opposition will know what you're doing. Even so, it's the only way to get the jump on him. <laughs> Tell me, whilst you've been having this adventure, do you sometimes get the feeling that someone's watching you? There. You see what I mean? Anyway, to use the spyglass, just hold it up in front of the eye shield. Go on, Alex. Shall I use it? Um, yeah. Can you Yeah. Okay. You must understand, my dear Starkill, I already pay you far too much, particularly in view of your recent record. There are other goblin masters, you know. Yeah, well, you just can't get the goblins these days, your fear ship, the old ship. I mean, couldn't I have some bigger goblins at least? Well, they're very right, they're all right, but well, they're a bit pathetic, if you know what I mean. And, well, the night ship, they're not exactly old goblins either. I mean, couldn't I have some of those really big eyebrow goblins from Malabrith, eh? Lovely. Skarkill, I've told you on countless occasions, it's a bad workman who blames his tools. Up your catch rate, then perhaps we'll talk about it. In the meantime, get out there and stop this quest. Hello, hello. Spy system operating. Now let's see if I can crack it to this. Alex, stop. Stop Alex. using the spyglass. Just, just, just drop it. Get him to drop it. OK, put it down. Yeah, I have. <laughs> did you hear any of that? Yes, I did. Right, OK. Well, uh, keep sidestepping to your right until I say stop. That's that door there. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. OK. OK, stop. Could you walk forward? Are there any paths from the clearing? Mm, there's a, just the a door. OK, you're going through it through the spyglass. <laughs> through my shield now. OK, Alex, we're just seeing through the eye shield at the moment and you're walking through a wood. <gasps> Goblins, Master, and they're close! Keep going, Alex. OK, yeah. Uh, you're coming to a clearing now. Get into the door. OK, Alex, you've come into a clearing. Out of here, you earth-grubbing little uglies! Gotcha. As for you, you may not be a goblin, but a poacher's the next worst thing. It's an archer, Alex. Well, apart from a fur trapper, of course. I caught a fur trapper last year. He won't be doing that again. Actually, he won't be doing anything again. <laughs> now, let's have a look at you. What's your name? Alex. Well, I can see you're carrying the token of the Green Wardens. I'm Gwendolyn. I'm a Green Warden. And the keeping of the forest is up to me. Now, I serve the powers that be, and I have the password to level one. But I can't give it to the ignorant. I have three questions for you, and two correct answers will please me. Are you ready? Yes. The longbow is made from a tree sometimes called the church warden. 
because it grows in churchyards. Now, do you know the name of this tree? Is it you? It's a fruit tree. Is it you? Alex, what do you think? I don't know this one. Right, go on, Alex. Say you. Say you. The you. Correct. Mm. Well, now, these trees will fall to the ground, and in millions of years, they will become coal. But what burnable substance will they become before they become coal? It's charcoal, isn't it? Charcoal? Which is it? Burnable substance. Petrol. Petrol. No. Oil. Well, that's what we're thinking. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and say that. What oil? No. Now, jack o' lanterns are strange, flickering lights, sometimes seen over marshy ground. Now, do you know another name for them? What's seen over jack o' lanterns. Seen over marshy ground. Fireflies? Could be. Do you think it's fireflies, Alex? What, what do you think? Fireflies. Um, yes, yeah, try it. Okay. Oh, fireflies. Option. No. Oh, damn. That's not the correct answer. But I can see you're trying, and you're carrying my green arrow, so I'll let you have the password. Thank you. The password is Sabretooth. Now, you must go on down the elfin path until you find the portal. The opposition has already tracked you once, so you must get out of the Greenwood and into the dungeon. Now you go down to the portal, and I'll keep guard for you. Keep Thank walking, you. Alex. See, Master, there's always an elf path. Yes, Pickle. Mm -hmm. Okay, Alex, we're seeing through the ice shield at the moment, and you're... I think you're on the outside of a castle, and just keep walking along the walls towards an entrance. There's a shield on the wall. With some kind of bird, I think. Now you've come into the room. Stop. Can you see the barrel? Yes. Okay. There's some bread on it. Bread roll. Well, take the bread and put it in your knapsack. Oh, oh, it's a lovely dungeon here. Oh, it's got some lovely Bigger. things. Bigger. Nice right, shoes. So. Let me see them in the light. It's oh, the his name. Lovely, lovely quality. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's got nothing to protect itself with. No weapons. No. If I tell you what, how about if Sylvester, that's me, I'll be your friend and I can carry all your lovely things for you. How about that, that mm -hmm. Tell him that you've got something what? to give to him, you know. What, what's your surname? Hands. Sylvester Hands. You know, hands like feet, but the other end of your body. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah. So, um, do you want got a book on literature? Okay. Or give him, tell him about the book. Yeah, who's it from? It's from... Hordris. Yeah. his name? Hordris. Hordris. Um, I have a book for you. From Hordris? Yeah. yeah, from Hordris. Who? Hordris. Hordris? 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 Oh. Oh, I can't read. Have you got anything else? No, it's important that you have this book. Oh, well, let's have a look at it. Just give it to me. quality? Yep. Oh. Oh. It's got nice pictures in it. Oh, another look. Yes. Oh, I like looking at writing. I don't understand it, but I like looking at it. Oh, yeah. Is that oh, a book? Nice. Right? Oh, what's that? Oh. 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 Turning somebody like Sylvester Hands isn't very nice into a hobgoblin. <laughs> I don't suppose it's permanent, Pickle. I don't doubt he did something to deserve it. Anyway, Hordris seems to have solved our immediate problems. Huh? Harry James, those sound like okay, goblins. Right. They must have picked up Alex's trail again. Turn to your right. I think there's a door up at the back on the left. Okay, yes. Right. Yeah, Walk forward. Quickly. Stop. Turn to your left. And walk forward. Hurry! Oh, it's the ice shield. Yeah. Alex, we can see through the ice shield at the moment, and you're walking along a lawn inside the castle. And there seems to be a clearing, some kind of room, and you're just walking into it now. They're just coming into right, the gotcha. Room. There's no point in running on your car to hide, so you might as well stand your ground while I claps the irons on you. <laughs> Lovely. Your little wanderings are over, my friend, because for you, the game is up. 
tell Skarkiel that don't tell that you can give him the gold if you let if you let him free, he'll give you gold. Quickly. If you let me free, I'll give you the gold. Gold? You offer Skarkiel, do you? Yeah, well, I like gold, but uh, my boss has got my number now. I don't risk it. Instead, it's the irons for you. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Tell him how will he know. Say how will he know if if you've just got the gold and he won't know if you're dead or not. How will he know if I give you the gold? He won't have to. How will know. he know? How do you think he'll know? He sees everything as Lord Fear. What do you think? Extreme I have some kind of danger fall. to no, you. No, money calls for you. Money calls, but I love it. I love it. Lovely. Spell casting. H E R. Oh. Ah. Ta -ra, ta -ra. Hello, hello. Tis bolts are Hugh to rescue you. Oh, gracious, Master. It's that benighted idiot, Sir Hugh. Do you think he can possibly hold his own against Scarkill? Well, I don't see why not. He may be brainless, but he's awfully brave. He hasn't the sense to be scared of anything. <laughs> Absolutely capital. You stay over there, Ned. Eat some grass. Now then, which of you chaps needs rescuing then? Hmm? <laughs> which is it? Is it you? <laughs> Tell him. Uh, yeah, I, I, I do. Uh, oh, there's a little chap behind you with the helmet. Oh, lovely. Jolly good. Well, I'll just flourish the old broadsword. You know. <laughs> oh, I'll clear off, you chinless twit. I'll knock some sense back in here. I serves the opposition. And this here is opposition business. Opposition? Never heard of him. As for business, this sounds like monkey business. Can't have that, so have at you. What the? I'll be back for you. <laughs> <laughs> Capital little bout that was. Absolutely a boner. Hello, dear heart. What's Hi. your name? Alex. How do you do, Alex? Sir Hugh de Witless at your service. <laughs> now, as I was summoned by magic, I shall depart the same way. Adieu, Alex. Thank you. Okay, Alex. Yep. Um, turn to eleven o'clock. Right. Uh, side step right and keep going quickly. And oh. Stop. Walk forward. Turn a bit to your left and carry on. Okay, let's see if, seeing through the eye shield and you're walking across more grass. Seems to be heading through a door in the castle. Yeah, I'm just about to go through it now. Okay, Alex, you're in a room with a, an exit on the far side. There seems to be an object on a box. Okay, uh, walk forward. Stop. Turn to your left. Walk forward. Can you see the box? Yes. What's on it? It's a fish. Pick it up and put it in your knapsack. Oh, no, Master. It's a blocker. The opposition's played a blocker. Harsh word. Sabretooth. Say Sabretooth, Alex. Sabretooth. Door on the wall. Right, Alex, turn around. Okay, walk forward. Turn to your left. Turn. Turn to your left. Right, a bit more. T walk forward. Keep going. Stop there. Alex, you're in a room with several different paving stones with different yeah, symbols on them. And there's a single that. exit on the opposite side. The scissors, paper, rock. Okay. Can you find right. symbols? They're scissors, paper, and rocks. Like the game, yeah. I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. OK, so, right. Go for the scissors. Yeah. Well, no, get, get onto the rock first. Right, take a step forward. Right, he's on a rock. Okay. Right, he's on yeah. the rock, so obviously, I think, I think he, that, yeah. that means he is the rock. Yeah. No, you don't want to lose because we want to win. He wants to scissors. He wants to scissors. Yeah. Okay, so... Paper yeah. wraps, so we want to yeah, okay. scissors. Right, okay. Um, turn to 11 o'clock. Take a step forward. Okay. Uh, take another step forward. He Not that big. He wants to cut the paper, doesn't he? Yeah, he's going to... Right. Turn to be 2 o'clock. Okay. Uh, go quite slowly now. Uh, walk, take a step forward. And again. 
Basically the same Take a small step forward and turn, a, turn to 11 o'clock. Right. Take a small step forward, if you get a direction. Um, yeah. Yeah. And again. Yeah. And again. Okay. Now. Okay. Take a step forward, too big. Turn to 11. Take a step forward, and another one. Okay. Um, just walk, take, keep walking forward now. Right All right, no. stop, hang on, stop. That's the door right at the back. I shouldn't wait on, Dean. Right. Okay, keep going forward, keep going forward, Alex. Quickly. 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 Alex. Alex. You seem to be on the back of a dragon. I think that's a seat. And there's a castle in front of you. He probably wants the gold to go moving. Yeah. yeah. Right. Oh, you! Yes, you with the horns growing out of your great ugly bread bin. Oh, great goblins, master. There's only one thing worse than dragon's breath, and that's Elita's tongue. She could badmouth for ancient Britain. Shh, Pickle, she may not be your favourite, but she can help if she wants to. Time to sneak aboard for a free ride, were we, basic? Well, Smirky doesn't like freeloaders. Smirky likes gold and lots of it. Right. So if you want to get to level two, you've got to pay up or bog off. All right, then tell her about the gold then. Alex. Give it a go. Give it gold. I've got some gold here. Fair deal. Hand it over. Now, don't tell me. You want the conducted tour of the flight deck? Yes, please. This way then, stupid. And let me show you to your seat. Now, step over the back. Come along over the back of the saddle. I haven't got all day. <laughs> Sit down. Now, hang on tight and hold on to your breakfast. <laughs> okay, you're sitting down on the back of the dragon. It's just about to take off. Uh, you're flying towards the castle now. Yeah. You're just flying over fields now, still on the back of the dragon. You're going you up to getting a bit higher towards the clouds. The dragon's looking around for, for somewhere to land. Yeah. Still over fields and things. May well be looking for more gold, of course. <laughs> You're coming down now. There's, there's a clearing in front of you. And you seem to be heading to land there. Let's hope it has a dragon bat, Master. OK, you're coming up to the castle. You're coming up to, I think, landing in front of the castle. Um, and you're getting a lot nearer now. I think the dragon's about to land. Yeah. Oh, a bumpy landing. OK. Well, I think you better stand up and dismount, Alex. OK. Should you walk down the back, off his back? Yeah. OK, Alex, turn around. Six o'clock. Right, get, get, come over the seat. Walk over the seat. Right. Now, keep walking forward. Hey. Um, push your gun in the wings, then. OK, stop. No. Hang on. Oh. Alex, you're looking through the eye shield now. Um, you're sort of looking on top of a cliff, looking down where the castle was from the last... Mm. Not exactly the last homely house, Master. I can't believe there'll be much of a welcome here. I wish you'd understand, Pickle, that part of the art of this adventuring business is that a certain amount of optimism is called for. In other places, the phrase is, so far, so good. Just don't put people off, please. <laughs> You're going down the slope. There's a sort of mound sloping down to the ground on your right. You're walking along the side of the walls. There's a castle on the left. There's a castle in front of you. Uh, You're walking towards the entrance to the castle, I think. Hey. Okay. Alex, 
Alex, you're in a room inside the castle. There's a table in front of you with several objects on it. OK, walk forward and you'll come to the table. OK, um, can you examine any objects, please? Yep, there's um, a gem and a scroll he's down, he's down. and a twig and some berries and jam. Water, really. yeah, That's place. it. Yeah, get, right, okay. Read the scroll. Get right, get the food first. Read the scroll. Is, is the jam food? No, you can't consume a bottle. There's some grapes <laughs> here, isn't there? Oh, yeah. OK. Yeah, the grapes. Yeah, read the OK, read the scroll. Okay. Right, it says, it may get you out of a jam if you twig it. Get you out of a jam, 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 jam if you twig it, right. It looks like one of those water divining. Yeah, that's what you thought. Yeah. Um, it may get you out of a jam. Um, what are the objects? Two, yeah. What are the objects? There's, there's jam. a jam, twig, and a no. berry. We ate the berry. And a jam. Oh, and a jam. Right. So, um, I think we need a water divider. Yeah. Yeah. But it'll so get, get you out of a jam twig, if you twig it. It says it'll so get maybe, you out of a jam. Yeah, obviously. so maybe the twig has got something to do with the jam. Yeah, well, well if, it, if it says it'll get you out of a jam, then you might not need it. Yeah, so we this. need the berry to try yeah. and yeah. We need the jam to try and brush on that. Let's take it, the jam, really. Okay. Take the jam and the twig, then. There's nothing else on the table, is there? No. Um, just, so, what are we leaving behind? Twig and jam. Right. Have you decided to? Yeah. Right. Are we all sure enough? Is that... Would you say that, Alex? Yeah, yeah. that's good. Okay. 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 Right. All right, let's move on, then. Okay, um, there's no parent door. Oh, it's... Oh, one on the right, I think. Yeah. There's one over to the left, I think, up at the back somewhere. Oh, oh Alex. Sure. Alex. Quick, Take two size, three side steps to your left, quickly. Right, um, walk forward. Stop. Oh. Ah. You're looking through the arch shield. Yeah, there's a doorway in front of you. Uh, you're still in the castle. You're going through the doorway now. You're turning to the right. You're going up some... S down, yeah, up some steps. To another room, I think. Come to a door. The wizard, what's his yeah. name? Hordris. Hordris, yeah. Okay. Alex? Yes, Captain. Alex? Yes. Um, uh, you're in a room with an exit on the far wall, and Alita. there's a man sitting down Hordris. with a lady sit standing next to him. It's Alita. Mr. I am afraid, Alita. Miss Alita, that one can do nothing for you. Do you wish to try again? Once more, then. Oh, Pooh, I was enjoying this one. You're not here to enjoy yourself, Pickle. You're here to serve the powers that be. Anyway, normal service has been suspended for the moment. The Watchers are having a problem with what passes for time in their zone. Isn't their time like our time, then, Master? No, ours is rubbery and elastic. And theirs? All rigid and metallic. Like Fright Nights? No, not really. Absolutely nothing is like Fright Nights. Ooh. So it scares me about that show, you know, it's so popular, we get so many emails and stuff about it, that's Nightmare here on Challenge, coming up by the way, more cult viewing and it's a beauty, Games Master, don't move. <laughs>